Hello and welcome everyone. I finally managed to get an Ultra Core 7 laptop, which would allow me to do some benchmarks. In this video, we'll compare its gaming capability to the RX 780M in a Ryzen 9 7940HS, and for more fairness, also to the Z1 Extreme in a Lenovo Legion Go using its 30 watt profile, since the Ryzen 9 would boost a lot higher with around 60 watt than the Core Ultra 7 in the used Acer Swift Go 14 with only around 35 watt. Meaning at the end of the video, there will be some more comparisons, so have a look at them as well. For the laptop comparison tests, both laptops were using 32GB of RAM, whereas the Ryzen laptop only had 5600MHz RAM and the Core Ultra 7 was paired with 6400MHz RAM, so again, we could expect the RX 780M to perform even better with faster RAM. And spoiler up front, it was kind of a slaughter in most games for both combinations. Who would have thought? Yeah, probably everyone. Okay, starting with Forza Horizon 5, I actually saw one of the biggest differences today with 66 FPS on average for the RX 780M and 39 FPS for the Intel iGPU, which is a huge lead of 69% for the AMD chip at Full HD and the high preset. I have to point out that the Acer Swift Go 14 seems to kinda automatically set the VRAM size for the iGPU and the whole system really uses a lot more RAM in most cases which really undermines my skepticism about the upcoming MSI Claw that I posted in a separate video a few days ago, since this new handheld will actually use this Intel CPU while only using 16GB of RAM. I was using 1080p and medium settings for Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which resulted in 49fps for the RX 780M and 36fps for the ARC integrated graphics, resulting in a lead of 36% for the RX 780M in this case. The frame time graph also seemed to be quite a bit more flat for the AMD system here. Speaking of the frame time graph, in Cyberpunk 2077, the Intel chip didn't really shine in that aspect as well, with a lot of spikes and an average FPS of 27 versus 36 FPS for the RX 780M at 1080p and medium settings without any FSR or XESS activated. A difference of 33% and a clear win for the AMD chip once more. In Far Cry 6, the RX 780M was leading with 24% due to its 47 FPS over 38 FPS for the Intel iGPU at 1080p and the high graphics preset. While again, the Intel system uses more total RAM each time, while the AMD system had better 1% lows and a smoother frame time graph once more. Hogwarts Legacy was running better than expected on the Intel system, while the RX 780M still had a comfortable lead of 26% with its 54 FPS on average over the 43 FPS on average the Meteor Lake chip was able to pull off. This game really benefits from 32GB of RAM in this case and uses up to 23GB for the Intel system. The gap was a bit higher once more in Elden Ring at 1080p and the high preset with playable 37 FPS on average for the RX 780M and almost unplayable 28 FPS for the Intel system where you clearly would need to lower the settings to get a stable 30 FPS on average. So the difference was around 37% in this case. Today's smallest performance difference is seen in Shadow of the Tomb Raider with only 10% between these two chips which is probably why Intel cherry-picked this game for first benchmark comparisons. 43 FPS on average at 1080p and high settings using DirectX 12 for the RX 780M and 39 FPS for the ARC integrated graphics. I was kinda surprised The Last of Us was working at all on the Intel chip with 34 FPS on average at 1080p, low settings and FSR in the quality mode versus 52 FPS for the RX 780M, resulting in a huge lead of 53%, which could be considered to be on a totally different level, really. In Watch Dogs Legion, the Core Ultra 7 was able to get really close with 42 FPS to the 48 FPS on average of the RX 780M at 1080p and the medium preset, resulting in a rather small difference of only 14% in this case. 
Rainbow Six Siege seems to be perfectly playable on both iGPUs with relatively high FPS at 1080p and ultra settings with a resolution scaling of 50%. The RX 780M was able to achieve 142 FPS and the Core Ultra 7 scored 112 FPS resulting in a lead of 21% for the RX 780M while it's playable on both systems really. I was testing Horizon Zero Dawn at 1080p using the medium preset and FSR on quality resulting in 55 FPS on average for the RX 780M and 36 for the Intel chip. Again, a huge difference of 53% between the two iGPUs. In F1 2022, I was using the integrated benchmark at 1080p and the high preset with FSR on quality resulting in 79 FPS on average for the AMD chip and 62 FPS for Intel, a noticeable difference of 27%. And before we start the Legion GO comparisons, the last game was Control in DirectX 12 using 1080p and the medium preset. And here the Core Ultra 7 was able to finally, at least once, gain a tiny lead with 35 FPS on average over the 34 FPS for the RX 780M. Yay, go in into, I guess. <clears throat> and finally, to shut down everyone complaining, oh, but Hubwood, the test is unfair because of the wattage. I also compared the Core Ultra 7 directly to my last recordings of Lenovo Legion Go benchmarks, which actually only uses 16 GB of RAM and only 30 Watt. But still, the results weren't in favor for the Intel chip. In Cyberpunk 2077, I was now using the medium preset at 1080p with FSR on performance and the integrated benchmark. This resulted in 55 FPS for the Lenovo Legion Go and 39 FPS for the Core Ultra 7 and its Arc i GPU. A very big difference of 41% nevertheless. While the Intel driver still seems to be horrible resulting in very bad frame times in some scenes. In Starfield, the RX 780M was taking the lead again with 40 FPS over 29 FPS, resulting in a difference of 38%, but at least this time the Intel drivers seemed to be able to work okay and the game didn't look all fuzzy for the Arc iGPU unlike in my older test with the Core Ultra 5 in another Acer Swift Go 14. In Forza Horizon 5, the RX 780M in the Z1 Extreme of the Lenovo Legion Go was still able to gain a comfortable performance lead with 67 FPS over 53 FPS, resulting in a difference of 26% despite the smaller RAM and the lower wattage, whereas the Intel Core Ultra seemed to have issues this time around achieving its full wattage potential. And last but not least, the difference was pretty small actually in Baldur's Gate 3 with 38 FPS for the RX 780M in the Legion Go over the close 35 FPS on average for the ARC iGPU using 1080p with the low graphics preset and FSR in performance mode. While like in almost all games of today, the RX 780M also provided much better 1% lows once again. So the obvious conclusion is that Intel has a shitload of work to do with these drivers and of course this is hanging over the MSI claw like the sword of Damocles as it will be using Z Intel Core Ultra 7 155H, you just saw in action. Well, action, you know. You know. Uh, with only 16 GB of RAM, of course. I really wonder how MSI is going to handle this task. It's gonna be interesting, but maybe, just maybe, they can really surprise us. And that's it for today. Please don't forget to like this video so others can find it as well. That would help a lot, thanks. Also, thanks for watching, see you next time, bye bye and tschüss.